Test. Hallo, Test. Okay, let's go. Welcome to the stream. The stream actually online, I think so. But my chatbot says differently, so let's check actually. Seems to be online. Everything is fine. My life is brilliant. So. And the brilliant, I mean, shit. But at least I have speed running, right? Three, two, one, go! Oh, I made this mistake before. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Okay, the first... Oh, nice! Nice! Oh my gosh! Okay, first gem. Yo, Leo! Welcome to the stream! And also welcome to RNG Hell, because this uh, speed game is... Uh, very RNG heavy. This is basically a budget Mario Party based on Looney Tunes for Game Boy Advance. And uh, for some reason I am speedrunning this. I'm not sure why actually. Okay, next turn I'm gonna use the feather. Okay, I just got the worst item in the game that can be used on you. Luckily, I can now use that item. I'm not sure if I'm gonna, but... Let's use the Phoenix Feather, because this quadruples your moves, which is amazing. Unless you get a 3, because then you only have 12 moves, which is still... Not bad, but imagine getting a 10, then you have four, 40 moves, that would be much better. But, whatever. Yeah, so if you, if you have any questions about the game, don't hesitate to ask, I'm happy to explain everything. So basically the goal of the game is to collect 5 gems, scattered throughout the world in different cities. Okay, this is a... This is gonna steal my items? No, my character points, okay. That doesn't matter because I don't have any character points. The character points are basically the currency in this game, which you earn by winning mini games. Wow, he's actually walking in a circle. That's amazing. And I bet he's gonna walk into his own item in the next turn. <laughs> Okay, the next gem is in Beijing. And we actually got it, nice. Porky doesn't seem like the brightest player. Yeah, uh, all of the CPU are not so clever. Yeah, it happens actually quite a lot that the CPU are walking into their own negative effect items. Two gems, yes, indeed. Now we're gonna head to Sydney, because there is always a gem in Sydney. That's actually true, like, I have never seen a run where there wasn't a gem in Sydney. And there are some cities where there's almost never a gem, or actually never. For example, Nairobi. 
So there is always one gem in Sydney, then one gem in Europe, one in North America, one in South America, and one in East Asia. Yeah, either Hong Kong, Beijing, or Kyoto. And then each city has a shop where you can buy different items. Porky got a gem. Yeah, they, sometimes they actually do get gems. And the funny thing is, that can involve some, uh, like, that is sometimes part of the strategy. If you have a gem, and your opponent also has a gem, and you meet on the same spot on the on the board, then you can actually challenge, be challenged, or challenge them, depending on if it's, like, if, if it's your turn, you can challenge your opponent to a mini game. And if you win, you can pick a gem from them. So sometimes this, the strategy actually involves um, collecting, for example, three gems and then stealing the other two gems from the opponent. Like, yeah. Okay, now I earned 20 points, which is basically money. They just don't call it money. <laughs> Porky wasn't even trying, yeah. I mean... What can you expect, honestly? Okay, that, that's, that's good. Getting high cards, always welcome. I mean, technically not always. There are some situations where you would like to get a 2, but... <laughs> Okay, let's go get the gem from Sydney. Uh, where is it? Okay, top right corner. Wait, what can we buy here? The... Yeah, let's actually buy the monk's pendant. That will protect me from sleeping potions. Very good item. Because if map taking one quarter of the screen is annoying. Yes. Yes, it is. See? He walked on his own item. I predicted it. Yeah, it is quite annoying actually. That's that's right. And there's no way to turn it off or something. So. Mm. <laughs> Like, would be nice if, I don't know, with select or something, you could just, uh, yeah. Okay, now we're gonna be, uh, now we're gonna do some Jesus action and walk over the ocean. <laughs> yeah, apparently every character in this game is the, is a descendant of Jesus, because we can all walk on water, so that's nice. Okay, lucky seven, so we, we get a free item. This is useless because it, like, yeah, impacts the other player, which doesn't really do anything. Especially because he's skipping three turns now because he walked on his own item. <laughs> Wait, why can he still get a lucky seven? Ah, because he destroyed the rock. He's free to go now. Okay, this is actually looking pretty interesting right now, because Porky has the purple gem, which I don't have yet, and we are both heading for South America. So, if I'm really lucky, I can steal the gem, the North American gem from him, and then get the South American gem myself. That would be amazing, actually. Considering my current uh, pace. <laughs> Yeah, like some, some runners for this game actually do splits for the gems, but this is a GBA game, yes, it is. See? Sleeping Potion won't affect me because I bought the item earlier. That's amazing. No, funny thing is I actually fall asleep and then I wake up instantly, I think. Wait. 
Shouldn't I? Oh, I think I'm in the next turn I'm gonna wake up instead of skipping a turn. I think that's how it works. See? Yeah, he didn't go for the gem, even though he, he could have. That's really funny, actually. Okay, now I'm gonna wake up, I think. Yes. Nice. Good job. Hey, welcome! It's a Laika, indeed. Hello, I'm a very special specimen. And not special in the good way. Okay, now Porky actually got both gems that I still need. So maybe I'm gonna steal both of him them from him? Hopefully. It's not a given that I actually manage that because some minigames are pure RNG. Let me get some more goose in here. And more five flats. Oh, this item might be our end. I always accidentally split. Yeah, sadly this item teleported me from South America to close to Europe, so this is really bad. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'm gonna get teleported back. No, I won't. I'm just gonna get character points stolen from me. Good job. Yeah, so the thing is, if you are on a tile on water, um, the turtle item can teleport you to a different tile of, with water. And that's just what happened to me. And yeah, this is not looking likely to be me. It's actually looking very unlikely. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, do I'm doing pretty shit actually. Uh, I'm having kind of a low point in my life right now. Because of circumstances I don't want to get into. Oh, airplane ticket. That's an item I could have used actually. Yeah, okay, this run is over. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate the words. Uh, it's just... Yeah, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> At least I have speed running. Yay! Okay, let's play as Daffy Duck this time. And Mark Antony is an opponent. I'm kind of annoyed by Mark Antony as an opponent lately because he has gotten like so such good luck and such annoying items used, used against me that was just too annoying so I switched to Porky as an opponent. I'm not sure the characters actually matter to be honest. But. Okay the first gem, let's see, 3, 2, 1... I'm not sure, is that actually ro in, in Rome? Oh lucky item, nice. And we got a shit item, yay! Yeah, so in the top right corner, you can actually see an indicator. Yeah, rip indeed. So there's like this little compass needle, and it shows you the way to... the shortest way to the next gem. Yeah, he's got a sleeping potion, that's bad. <laughs> because he will use that at some point. So it would be nice if we could get the item that protects us against that. Okay, first gem, sub one minute. Easy peasy. Yeah, some people actually who run this game actually have splits for each gem, but I don't I do that because I feel like it's actually pretty useless because like so much stuff can happen. Like it's so random. Like, I don't know, you can be, I don't know, five minutes ahead on the last gem and still lose the run. Or you can be, like, behind and still uh, have a PB. Like, I had a PB, my, my last PB, no, my set, my last PB before the current one. Um, the opponent actually used the absolute worst item in the whole game on me. It is called the mechanical doll. You can only get this item on a specific tile in 
on the board if you land on that tile. And the item spawns a mechanical robot lady. I'm not shitting. <laughs> a mechanical robot lady who walks randomly across the board. And your character is like, oh, a beautiful lady. I'm gonna follow her. And then you walk randomly around the board for three turns. And I had that item used on me, which lost two minutes. And I still got a PB by one minute. So, yeah, everything is possible in this game. <laughs> Basically. Also, I think a few days ago, was it yesterday <laughs> or the day before? Oh, a mystery box. That's basically a loot box. Nothing was in there, basically. Yeah, so recently I had a very good run that was so close to world record. That, that, that was actually on world record pace. Mechanical robot lady. Does she have guns like the fembots in Austin Powers? I'm actually not sure, but I could imagine that it's very much the case. Yeah, so I was on world record pace. I, I had four gems. I was close to the last one. I, like eight minutes in. The world record is ten minutes. Uh, but then the opponent used this turtle item and I got teleported away and the run was over. It was very frustrating. But I don't know. It's, it's still fun to run this game. Okay, the next gem is in Kyoto. I have no idea where, so let's just go wherever. Okay, I have five character points. I cannot buy anything for that. Otherwise, I might have bought the meat, because the meat protects you against the Tasmanian Devil, who sometimes appears and does bad things to you. I actually wanted to press not to go into the shop, but I pressed too early, I think. <laughs> Oh, he gets an item. Okay, that's actually not too... No, wait, is, isn't that the item that can make me fall asleep? Oopsie! <laughs> and that's the minigame. This one is one of the fastest and easiest. Just mash the A button and you're good to go. Come on, you can do it. Nice. Okay, can I please get the gem now? That would be really lovely. Okay, nice. Yeah, also, you, you don't collect the gems technically. You only collect the power of the gem. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna fall asleep. Nice. That means I'm gonna skip a turn because I don't have the item that wakes me up instantly. Nice. Okay, so I should probably center my strategy now around stealing the red gem from Mark Anthony. Wow, he's getting so good luck! What the fuck? So mad. <laughs> okay, he's not going for the purple gem. We have another minigame. This dog is doing a lot better than Porky. Yeah, that's true. I really feel like that um, the dog actually gets better RNG than Porky. But I'm not sure if that's actually true. Maybe I'm just biased because I played more against Mark Anthony. By the way, some of the minigames are actually hard to win. Like, there are some other minigames which are really tough. Especially against certain opponents. Okay, so he's actually coming my direction now, right? So... I should probably go to Sydney and hope that he will go to Sydney as well. 
that is probably the best strategy right now. Yeah, so you have to do a lot of things like on the fly, just decide stuff and like each city has an airport as well with uh, three destinations which are uh, like set so they are not random. So I actually have a, have a list here on my wall which airport flies to which other airport. <laughs> so in case I randomly get an airplane ticket or I can actually afford to buy one, I can always look up like, okay, where can I go next? Because flying somewhere is really convenient. And since we have to save Tweety's life, uh, our ecological footprint isn't that important. <laughs> Yeah, like, there's one very weird thing about this game, which is actually a very good example for ludonarrative dissonance, which is a term to describe if when game mechanics don't match up with the story of the game. This is the case in this game, actually. Because Tweety has been hit by a spell and is turning into stone. And the only way to save Tweety is to gather this, those five gems around the world. And all of Tweety's friends are like, oh, I'm gonna help, I'm gonna get the gems. But this is not a cooperative game. <laughs> we all, we are all like working against each other. I'm actually gonna get the monk's pendant, which will prevent me from skipping a turn when hit with sleep potions. Yeah, so, yeah, we are actually working against each other. The luck of this doggo! I can't believe this. Holy shit. This is just out of this world. Yeah, so in instead of working together and everybody gathering a gem here and there and then bringing them all together, no. We, we steal the gems from each other. We... yeah. Uh, yeah, let's actually try to get the gem from Mark Anthony. Thing is, will I be able? Oh, he's going to Kyoto. That's bad, actually. Okay, but from Kyoto, I can go to the right to go to San Francisco. And we have another mini game coming up. This one is one of the quicker ones, and it's actually fairly easy. Unless you get bumped by somebody else, then it's really annoying. Wow, sometimes it actually, like, time can actually run out. Okay, I have an air... I have money for an airplane ticket. Can I buy that in Kyoto? Let's see. I can. And there is a plane going to San Francisco. Holy shit. Okay, we have a strategy now. But we only have one minute to <laughs> do it, which will not happen, but I'm still... I want to see if this strategy works. Even if it's not a PB. Yeah, bad card. So I want to try to get the gem from Mark Anthony and then fly to San Francisco to get the last gem. Come on, give me a good card, please. That's nice. Okay, now we can actually challenge him. Go into the shop. Buy an airplane ticket. Oh, I don't have enough points? What? I thought I had 100. Okay, my strategy is dead, but I'm still gonna challenge him because why not? Okay, this is purely RNG. I have to pick what he doesn't pick. You have to guess whether the next car will be bigger or smaller. And to win, I have to pick the other option. Which of course is not what happened, so... <laughs> the run is over. <laughs> the funny thing is, when, um, when the opponent challenges you for a gem that you don't want to lose, on this minigame, you can actually just pick the same option as they pick, 
and it is initially a draw and then you don't lose any gems. Little trick there. Okay, let's actually pick Porky as an opponent again because I feel like Mark Anthony is way too good. <laughs> hmm, okay. Hey, welcome! Thanks for the good luck! Yeah, I didn't see the messages. I'm, I'm gonna check them later because I don't wanna look at my phone right now. Okay, this is actually a pretty good spawn. So, yeah, the run doesn't start until we get the first card, so... Okay, this is not the not a perfect spawn, but it's pretty good, actually. So, three, two, one, go. Yeah, welcome, Mr. Travis. How are you doing? I put my total playtime of this game on screen. <laughs> More than 13 and a half hours now. I'm not sure what your playtime is, but I have been playing this a lot recently. Mostly off uh, stream, actually. I was trying to get PBs. Which actually worked, but I messed it up. <laughs> Two hours appointment. Yeah, tired. I, I totally get that. I hope you can rest well. Okay, pr prediction. He's gonna wa walk on his own item. <laughs> Four hours and 20 minutes. What? And you got the world record with that. <laughs> That's so lucky. I've been trying for almost 14 hours and I'm not even third place. <laughs> That's so funny. Where the heck is the gem? Is it down here? Yeah, it's down there, okay. Yeah, that's really nice, but like, oh, I haven't told you yet. Uh, I had a run, I think, two days ago, where I was on a very good world record pace. Uh, I think eight minutes something? Like, I think, yeah, in like eight minutes in, I had four gems and I was very close to the last one but then the opponent used the turtle item on me and I got teleported away <laughs> with, with without that item and a tiny bit of luck it could have been a nine minute run <laughs> but sadly it was ruined as is expected in this game Okay, Christmas wrapping. Have fun. Have fun. Aren't you ruins your life in this game? Yes, indeed. Yeah, I, I don't have a lurk command, but it is appreciated. Still. Okay, next stop, Buenos Aires. I still haven't learned all the routes, like, I still have to rely on the navigator a lot, which is a little bit annoying. Okay, my strategy definitely involves stealing the blue gem from Porky, because going to Cairo is a bit of a mess, because it's... You have to go around a lot, like around the board. It's a bit annoying. Hello! Okay, nice. No, I didn't get the gem. Oh, that's annoying. It's always so annoying if you don't get the gem while entering the city. Because then you have to usually get one card to get the gem and then get another one to actually get out again. It's really annoying. <laughs> to be honest though, failing some runs was not only like RNG. 
sometimes I only I already I also did like very bad mistakes. <laughs> I have to admit that. Like even in my PB run, I did a pretty bad mistake. Uh, where I went into a city even though I didn't have to. <laughs> that was really annoying. But it was still a PB, so I'm not complaining, I guess. Okay, next up, we have to go to Sydney and... Yeah, gather us! Please, gather us! Very good! Yeah, this item gathers all players in a random city. Okay, this is not great, but also not terrible. I hope that he will challenge me. Please get in and get another... F yes! Please challenge me! Please, I want to steal the gem from you. Challenge me. Yes. Oh no, I'm so bad at this mini game. But I think Porky is actually also not good at this mini game. Let's see. Yes, I won. Holy shit. I'm going to get the blue gem from him. That's so nice. Oh, thanks for hosting. I really appreciate it. Okay, so next we have to go to Kyoto and Sydney. And if that goes fast, then we are looking at a PB. If nothing goes wrong, of course. <laughs> There's still so much stuff that can happen, but... Yeah, let's just see what happens, actually. I mean, the pace is pretty good, actually. But it can all be ruined in an instant. <laughs> or very slowly, if I only get bad cards. You're gonna have to eat. Okay. Okay, have a, have a nice meal. Enjoy your meal. Bon appetit. Please give me some higher cards game, that would be really nice of you. <laughs> oh, is he gonna get it? Okay. He still has a family ring, so this whole run can be ruined like this. Or, he actually teleports us to Sydney. <laughs> no, nobody knows, actually. Uh, actually, can I buy something in Kyoto that's useful? Yeah, uh, let's buy the meat. Yeah, so the meat will protect us against the Tasmanian devil. He took the family ring! Yes! Yes! That's so good! Holy shit! Oh no! She left me alone because I had the meat! Oh fuck! This luck is amazing right now! I wonder what will ruin it! <laughs> I can't be this lucky this much in one run. This is not possible. It's not, it's not allowed. Okay, come on. Let me get the gem, please. Come on! I can't believe this right now. Please just give me some high cards. Oh no, is this a mini game? That's a time waste. It's a time waste! No! And one of the worst time wastes in the whole game. This mini game is so. Oh, I'm so bad at this mini game. Because, for some reason, just meshing very fast isn't really, like, enough. You have to mesh in a specific way or something, it's really weird. Come on, game! High cards! I hate my life so much right now. <sighs> I'm just not getting somewhere, you know? 
I'm just not getting somewhere. I'm so close, yet so far away. Ugh. Like, with like three or four high cards, I could be in Sydney in an instant. Okay, that's looking much better now. We're gonna get a mini game, I have to admit that, but... This can still PB if... Oh, okay, no mini game, but I'm skipping a turn, so I'm not sure what's actually worse. <laughs> PB is looking unlikely, to be honest, right now, but... Because I have this skip turn. <sighs> Come on, just get a two or something. Yeah, sure. Oh, PB is looking so unlikely now. Unless I get a really high card now. But who knows? That's not good. Oh, this is so annoying. I'm so close yet so far. <sighs> Please just give me an ace or something. Please, game. Where's the gem? It's up there, okay. Come on, we have one minute to PB. Let's fucking go. Just give Porky a two and then everything is fine. Come on, low card. Why is he getting all the high cards? Fuck off, game! If I get a 2 now, I'm gonna scream. And we did it. I got a PB on stream. In this game, holy shit. Oh. Half a minute, that's actually not too bad. Close to the sub 11, not quite there, but yay. <laughs> All your friends competed with each other to rescue you. Yes, that's true. Let me put a GG in chat. Just to have the emotes on screen. Orky traveled the most, yeah, he had so many high cards. Challenged the most, yes. Yay, we're having a party now! Nice. You're my very best friend. I mean, I stole a gem from him. That's... I'm not sure how nice that is. I mean, Tweety's life was on the line. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Okay, so we actually, I actually got a PB. That's uh, pretty cool. <laughs> and Miss Truffles just left to eat, but that's how things go in this game, I guess. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying your meal. 11.10. I'm actually gonna edit my stream title include the PB new PB 11 10 ah, let's actually uh, try again
it's really cool to get a PB in this game because it's like yeah the chances are not very high to be honest because the thing is the lower your PB gets the harder it, it will be to actually get a new one right because um of all the randomness in the game Okay, I think the gem is in Rome, which is not the best starting position for that. But let's see. Okay, three, two, one, go. Can we actually go to the left here? No, we have to go all the way around now. And we get a mini game. Yeah, the thing is with mini games, I usually want to avoid them. Because they waste time, of course. Because this is a speedrun, right? But the thing is, the mini games give you money. And with money, you can actually save time. For example, if you get an airplane ticket, you can actually save a lot of time. So it's really hard to like have a good balance between trying to avoid mini games, but also having mini games to get money. Okay, so wait, he is actually going for the blue gem now, so I don't actually need to go for the blue gem because hopefully I can just steal it from him. So let's actually head for Kyoto. Sleeping potion, not an item I actually need. Yeah, let's actually head for Kyoto and then hope that we can steal the blue gem from Porky later. That's my strategy. I mean, it worked in the last run, but only because we had a mini game that he is actually absolutely terrible at. So, <laughs> like, if that mini game had been against Mark Anthony, I would have lost, 100%. Okay, maybe 99% because... Oh, minigame. Okay. Okay, I actually... Oh, this is the one I'm really bad at. Uh, Miss Truffles made a guide for this. And I know that I have to fly really high here. Uh, okay, then I go here. Oh, I actually did it. Thanks to the guide made by Miss Truffles, the video guide. You should definitely check it out. It's a very good guide. There's also a guide on the pipe mini game, which is actually fun to watch even if you don't play the game. Oh, nice item for once. Thank you very much. Oh, the gem is actually there, so let's just go there. I always want to get the gem first and then worry about, worry about other stuff. I can actually buy the meat here and I can afford it so I think I'm gonna do that to protect me from the Tasmanian devil although I think it only protects against the female version but I'm not sure like there's a male devil and a female devil and I think this one only protects against the female Tasmanian devil okay he's coming into our direction that's very good that's what we want because we need to steal the blue gem from him. But I'm still gonna go ahead to Sydney now. Because he will come there anyway, so... Okay, so we, we got the meat. So we have some protection at least. And the next minigame, please be the treasure. Yeah, that's my favorite minigame actually. Oh, that was so close. Sometimes if you hit, uh, hit it on the same frame as an opponent, you both get first place. Wow, 
Wow, I'm not getting the best cards here, but this gives Porky a chance to catch up to me. <laughs> <laughs> he actually went for the gem. Holy shit, I can't believe this. <laughs> Okay, let's go to Sydney. I'm not getting very good cards right now. But he is getting good cards. And he's gonna buy the meat, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's, he's gonna buy the meat. Or the bee. Or this. Okay. I'm actually a bit surprised. Nice! Treasure box. Fucking loot boxes here in this game. Okay, what can I buy here? The monk's pendant. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. I haven't seen the gem yet, but... That's another mini game. It's not because he's skipping a turn. Okay. Okay, he actually left because I had the meat. So, does this actually protect against both of them? I'm not sure. Okay, where the heck is the gem? Please. Okay. Let's go! I still haven't used the feather yet! Oh, I always forget about the feather. It's just not fun anymore. <laughs> I always forget about it. Okay, let's try to challenge Porky. I should have used the feather. Fuck. Okay, the... Yeah, okay. Whatever. Let's just hope that he comes into the city now. Challenges me. Challenge me! Challenge me! No! I'm not gonna use the feather now. Okay, now I can challenge him. Uh, okay, I'm gonna lose this. Because the AI is usually right on this minigame. If I win this, this is gonna be a fucking miracle. Okay, the run is over because now he can choose a gem from me. And this run is over. Yeah, that's the risk of the challenges. If you get an RNG minigame, and the RNG decides you're not worthy of a PB, you don't get a PB. <laughs> That's just how things go sometimes. I wonder... If the RNG is different, if you pick another difficulty mode. But I've never tried. Okay, so the first gem will be in Moscow. Three, two, one, go! That's a mini game. <laughs> Let's battle. One. Okay, who who would not pick big on this one? <laughs> like seriously, you have to guess if the next card is gonna be bigger or smaller. So okay, so Porky is in South America. So maybe. Oh, nice. Okay, so the strategy here will be let Porky get some gems. 
Wait until he uses the family ring and then snatch the gems from him. Which is not guaranteed, as we saw in the last run, where I uh, lost the match game to RNG. <laughs> Oh no, I have to go here. Okay, yeah. Moscow, first gem. I'm not quite getting it, but that's okay, I guess. Unless Porky uses the family ring now, then I would be really mad. <laughs> but he's not. Okay, he's not going for the North American gem. Good minigame. You did miss a PB by a, a half a minute, actually. <laughs> it was a roughly a 30 second PB. Welcome back. Yeah, but the thing with this game is, they can always happen in PB like next run, you know? <laughs> or it can take 200 runs, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Okay, so, family ring, where... Will we end up? This is random. Okay. Paris. Is he actually gonna challenge me? Yes. Okay, that's actually nice. Oh no, this minigame. I'm so bad at this. But I think he's worse. But I'm not sure. <laughs> I actually won. Holy shit. Okay. So now we can snatch the red gem from him. Very nice. So we don't have to go to Rio de Janeiro. But we still have to go to three other cities. Um... Oh, this is gonna be a mini game. I wanna avoid a mini game right now because. I already have quite a bit of money, so... Yeah, we still need three gems. The green one in Beijing, the blue one in Sydney, and the purple one in New York. Okay, let's see. There are different patterns on this. And from the three mushrooms there, you can actually see which pattern this is. There's another pattern that starts with the same screen, except it has only two mushrooms. Uh, yeah. Luckily, Miss Truffles made a very good guide for this minigame. I'm gonna lose this, by the way. Because this jump here is pretty tricky. Okay, second place, good enough. <laughs> Yeah, this one jump there in particular is very tricky because you always bump your head on the ceiling and then it's hard to actually make the jump. Please teleport me to a good spot. Okay, this is... is, is this the gem steal? No, it's not. Okay. Hmm, okay, that's not the best teleport to be honest. But I take it, I guess, because I have to go to New York anyway. From New York, it's not so far to Kyoto. No, uh, Beijing, sorry. 30 seconds. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, the thing is, in this game, you never know. You can you can have a 30 second PB, you can have a 3 second PB. It's basically like, yeah. You, you never know. Okay, the, the thing is actually telling me to go to Sydney, but I think that's actually a bad idea. I want to get the North American gem first, so that's out of the way. I'm actually being teleported to Hollywood! Holy shit! This is actually very good. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, sometimes there are random events on the board, and one of the random events is get teleported to Hollywood because, like, somebody, I don't know, thought you were a good actor or something. Oh, the run is over. The run is officially over, people. If this item 
is uh, being drawn, then the run is basically over. I am very sorry to inform you that this run is not going anywhere. To be honest, in my... <laughs> I had a PB where this item was used on me. Oh, maybe I'm actually... Okay, yeah, this is the... Now you can see the robot lady in action. The mechanical robot lady. <laughs> if we are lucky, she actually walks on the gem. And we can... Okay, we only got uh, two. That's pretty good, actually. So... In those three turns with the mechanical robot lady, we want to have as... Like, as little as possible... Um, moves... So, low cards appreciated. Let's see if she actually walks on the gem. That would be very cool, actually. Of course she's not walking on the gem. She's walking far away from the gem. Because this game is fucking... Unfair. <laughs> yeah, by the way, this skips all the things that you would usually trigger, like shops, the trash can, mini games. Just imagine getting the luck of being teleported to Hollywood and then getting the mechanical robot lady, like, what is this even? What is this? Wait, I just realized, didn't, didn't I have the feather in my PB and I didn't use it? That would be so funny. Look how slow she walks. No! <laughs> Please! I mean, yeah, PB is not impossible anymore, uh, still, but it's very unlikely now. Because I still have to get three gems, I think. Okay, he has green and yellow. Does he have a gem that I don't have? Let's actually check. I think the green one. Yeah. I need three gems, okay. That's really bad. <laughs> Considering the pace I'm currently on, this is really bad. <laughs> okay, third gem. Eight minutes in, that's not good. Let me guess, family ring. Airplane ticket, that's an item I could use right now. Yeah, because with an airplane ticket, I could actually fly to Hong Kong, which is super close to Beijing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the PB is not happening unless we get cards this high, like, the whole time now. Do I actually have a, a, an item I can use? No. Okay. I wasn't sure. <laughs> Not complaining about this a card and this placement because it's right in between two mini games, which would waste like at least 30 seconds. Okay, he's gonna use the feather, it d which doubles the moves. Yeah, so the owl feather doubles your moves. The Migrant Bird's Feather uh, triples, and the Phoenix Feather quadruples. Okay. Why am I getting so many high cards right now? Uh, this is... Um... Okay. <laughs> sure, I guess. Gonna walk into his own item, I can already tell. <laughs> because he always does that. Oh! Okay, if we are really lucky. Okay, no, I have one minute. That's not gonna happen. Especially not with his card now. But I just thought if Porky now is quick with the green gem. Uh, no, wait, with the. He already has the green gem, but he's skipping a turn. Okay. There is so much to consider during those runs. Yeah, this run is over.
let's still do the mini game because why not? Yeah, so my strategy would have been go to Sydney, get the gem, and then steal the gem from Porky. But that's not gonna happen. So the story of the game is basically Tweety goes into the forest, finds this chest, opens it and then gets the spell that turns him into stone. And it's the and then the witch comes and like the the, the nice witch and he, she's like, oh no, you open the the box where we store all this um, all the bad energy. Yeah, sorry, I just read the uh, Discord messages uh, Miss Truffle sent me. Hmm. Let's try again! Okay, this starting position is actually not looking terrible. Three, two, one, go. Gem seems to be in Berlin, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Okay, it's over there, so we should have... Like, if the map wouldn't take half the screen, I would have seen that, but whatever. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so again, the strategy involves stealing stuff from Porky. Let's hope that's gonna work. Wait, can I go actually around here? Yeah, good job. Don't enter the shop because I don't have any money. So next I'm gonna head to Hong Kong for the yellow gem. Then to Sydney for the green gem. And then see where Porky ends up. To rob him of his gems. That item is pretty much useless. It um, calls a snake to the place where you're standing on, and if an enemy walks into it, they have to skip one turn. Which doesn't really make sense for me to use. I have been at this game for more than 14 hours and I'm barely third place. <laughs> Three, two, 
But that's the thing with RNG heavy games. You just can't know how long it's gonna take. Okay, the feather. Can't be used against us, so nice. Didn't get the gem, okay. Yeah, in the ideal scenario, I'm able to steal both the red gem and the blue gem from him. So, let's see if we are, can, be, can do that, actually. Okay, the gem is down there. I don't have any money, so skip the shop. Okay, now we head to Sydney, and from there, to the Americas. Why is he getting so lucky? Like, what the heck? This is so annoying. Okay, he's heading for Sydney as well, I think. So that's actually good. That's what we want. Nice. Airplane ticket, okay. I'm in Hong Kong, right? Where can I go? Cairo, London, Rio, uh, uh, Rio. Doesn't make any sense for me right now, so let's just head to Sydney. Yeah, let's just head to Sydney. And if the strat with stealing the gems doesn't work, then I'm gonna fly from Sydney. No, Sydney. Oh, yeah. The thing is, from Sydney, I can only fly to Cairo, London, and Rome. Which is all in the middle of the map, but I have to be on the left side of the map, so it doesn't make sense. So I probably have to waste the airplane ticket, which is really annoying. Okay, first mini game actually. <laughs> and we won that easy peasy. With one second left, Sam finishes. Congratulations. Here's your you, you took part in the minigame award. <laughs> okay, we are very close to Sydney. I just wonder, if we can steal the stuff from him, couldn't we at least fly to London and then go to the go to New York from there. I'm not sure if that would actually make sense. I think we have to steal from him. Everything else doesn't really make sense right now. Okay, can we buy something? Yes, we can. Yeah, this is again the item that will protect us against skipping a turn when being hit with a sleep spell or sleep potion. Okay, close to the exit at least. It doesn't make sense to use the airplane here because... Yeah, Porky is so close, but I have to win two mini games against him. That's not super likely, to be honest. But let's just try it anyway, because basically we don't have any other chance right now. <laughs> okay, where the heck is he? Is he actually close? Oh, on this spot you can get the mechanical robot lady as well. I had no idea. Oh, he's heading for Hong Kong. That's actually bad for me. Uh, okay. Let's just hope I can catch up to him. I'm getting teleported to Hollywood. Okay. Um, can I fly to one of Idols from... Oh my gosh, okay. I'm getting teleported to Hollywood. 
So I can go to New York now to get the gem and then fly from New York to Buenos Aires Where uh, okay, uh, I can't talk right now. I'm uh, very uh, on like very good pace uh, like holy shit <laughs> Yeah, thanks for the GG Sorry, I'm really stressed right now because I just had something happen that changed my whole plan and I'm like, oh my gosh, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck. Because this is a really good pace right now. Like, all of a sudden, this is amazing pace. <laughs> so, apologies if I can't react to messages properly. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I'm so nervous right now. Holy shit. If I only knew knew uh, where the gem was, I I didn't pay attention. Do I have an item to use? No, okay, whatever. If I had a feather, I would have used it here. Holy shit! No fucking way! What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Is th did this really just happen? I just got a sub 10, which has never been recorded before. There was a person in the forum who claimed they got a 9 minute run, but it was a casual run, so they didn't record. Oh my fucking god. This is a recorded sub 9 and I'm have, I have the fucking world record now. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! I mean... I kind of feel like I'm done with this game, but maybe... Why not go for the sub 9 minutes? I don't know. <laughs> oh, the lag was so incredible! Thanks for the hype. The luck was really good, like the Hollywood teleport and then being able to fly from New York to Buenos Aires and then getting a card that actually like gets to the gem. Like if I would have gotten like a two or something, it would have been so annoying. Oh fuck. I have to I have to lie down a bit. Oh. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. I just catched the really end of the run, so I'm really impatient to see the rest. Yes! I can totally understand that. Holy shit, and I PB by two minutes? I PB by two minutes? What? Uh, to be honest, yeah, yes, it was unexpected, but on the other hand, I always expect to be on world record pace if I press new new game <laughs> because this game is just it's RNG hell you know like everything can happen. Holy shit, this was a roller coaster, and I didn't even steal the gems from Porky, right? Let me actually change to the camera so.
Yeah, so I, I didn't even steal the gem from Torky. I actually got them myself. Like, what the heck? What the heck? What the heck? I don't know what to say. What the fuck? I want to give a huge shout out to Miss Truffles actually. Because here on my wall I have like this list that I made based on the guide that she made. Happy ending music intensifies. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I have this guide here uh, which lists all the travel destinations from each city to an uh, like yeah so from each city you can travel to three different locations and i have a list here ba based on the guide made by Miss Truffles. and without this guide this wouldn't have been possible like honestly like only because of the guide i knew that i could fly from new york to buenos aires and that actually was one puzzle piece of the world record so Holy shit, yeah. Let me just put a bunch of hearts for you in chat, because without you, this run wouldn't have been possible. I dedicate this run to Miss Truffles. Holy shit, you haven't even seen the whole run. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Okay, after this amazing uh, run, I don't really feel like continuing this game right now, to be honest. <laughs> like, I, I have to let this settle first and let, and let it rest or something. Can we play something else? I don't know. What, what, what else can we play? I'm gonna continue this music. No, actually, let, let's listen to some other music. Soundtrack of Nubau. Which is an amazing game. But I'm not gonna speedrun that today because it requires so much precision. And I'm not sure I'm capable of that right now. Probably not. Test. Okay. Holy shit. Let me actually check my speedrun page and see if there's any other run that I would like to do right now. Because like... Yeah, I can't run Wholesome Slaughter. Because the frame rate is just shit on that game. If I stream it. Dr. Mario, I would have to... Change my whole setup here. That's not that doesn't make sense Maybe a BB game, but to be honest, I Mean to be honest, I would like to get back into little mermaid any percent on Game Boy, but That's really tough getting back into that game after such a long time. Yeah, my any percent PB is like one year ago. Okay, actually not exactly one year ago. It was in uh, in May, May 2020, which was also a very unexpected PB. <laughs> Wait, did somebody just submit a run to a game I moderate? Oh, holy shit! Yes! Okay, so, funny story. I speedrun, in big quotes, a game called Say No More. And the game is basically, you have one button, the space bar, and with the space bar you can say no, or something like, hmm, huh, uh, depending on the, the situ on the situation the game chooses for you. 
And it's basically a game about learning to say no to your mean co-workers, to your mean bosses, stuff like this. And it's a very funny game. Um, and... Yeah, but the speedrun is like kind of weird because basically you always have to mash the the no button the whole time. There's just one instance where you actually have to wait until the timer runs out and not say anything. And somebody just submitted a run for this. And this is also funny because I, uh, this game was played on really, really long a -thon. Like the speedrun marathon with like super long speedruns that take, I don't know, 14 hours or something. And I actually saw this run live and I was like, oh, you're playing this game, that's amazing, I speedrun this game, I have a speedrun page for this game, you have to submit this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and now the person actually submitted their run because it was like kind of a showcase. Uh, for the marathon, I, I, they probably had like a little break that they had to fill with content. So this person was like, oh, nice, I'm gonna showcase this game. And now they actually submitted the run. Second place. Uh, what is actually the world record? Let's see. Okay, the run is 1 hour, 15 minutes and 7 seconds. My world record is actually 1 hour, 12 minutes. Okay. So they, they didn't do like the ultra hard speed techniques, but that's fine. It's a showcase. And I, honestly, I'm just happy to not be alone on the leaderboard anymore. <laughs> it's really amazing. Yeah, by the way, if you want to check it out, uh, the link is going to be in chat. Yeah, it was actually de developed by a German studio. And <laughs> I also did low percent on this game, which was the worst speedrun I ever did in my entire life. Because the idea of low percent in this game is to say no as little as possible. And that's actually possible because every time somebody, like every time you get into a dialogue, you can just say no instantly and then you go to the next dialogue. But you can also wait out a timer and not say anything and then you still continue to the next dialogue. <laughs> you know? Uh, so I basically played this game waiting out all the dialogues uh, and actually doing that actually unlocks a secret dialogue option where you get sent to a staring contest of a secret, like, almost cult of people who do staring contests. And then you win the staring contest against the staring contest world champion. So yeah, any percent, one hour, 12 minutes, low percent, one hour and 50 minutes. So you can see how much that adds to the run. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so hyped right now that uh, the person submitted their run. That's really cool. That's really amazing. Thank you for that. And I just realized that I'm so exhausted that I probably just have to go now. <laughs> I'm really sorry. But getting this world record was just... What the fuck? So... Yeah, let's see if we can actually send you over to somebody. Yeah, how about we just raid Jangle Storm? That's a good idea, I think. I'm gonna send you over to some Simpsons Game Boy speedrunning. Or is it NES? I'm not sure. Some retro Simpsons game. Yeah, let's just send you over. If you want to check out my speedruns, exclamation mark, speedrun. Okay. I think he just started. Okay, that's amazing, actually. I hope I'm writing this correctly. Youngler Storm, okay. Yeah, have fun. 
and I will see you next time. Also, world record hype. <laughs> Holy shit. Unreal, just unreal. Okay. Bye bye.